Hello everyone, my name is Saran and I'm an applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems and today I'll be showing you how to create harnesses in SolidWorks Electrical. So the game plan is basically for me to create a new harness and add components to an existing harness in the 2D Electrical Schematic tool and then to route the very same harnesses in SolidWorks 3D. So what I've got here in front of me is a wiring line diagram of a circuit that includes a motherboard and a few fans, all of which are linked to each other through these connectors and cables. Now, I've already placed all the connector symbols and drawn all the cables, and all that's left for me to do is to create the harnesses. Now, if I were to go into the harness manager, which is located under the project tab, you'll notice that I already have three harnesses that are created. Now out of these, the first two, H3 and H4, are complete. As in, if I were to expand any one of them, you'll notice that it has components, cables, and line diagram segments associated with it. On the other hand, H1.2 is empty, and we need to add components to it. Now in order to do that, you will need to control select the components that you wish to add, as well as the cables, and right click, Add Remove from Harness. Click the green check mark to go into the Harness Manager and select the right harness to add these components to, in this case H1.2. And that's pretty much it for adding components to an existing harness. Similarly, in order to create a new harness from scratch, you need to control select the components that you need to add as well as the cables and add them to the harness and click the green check mark to go back into the harness manager and instead of selecting a harness from this list we will be creating a new harness and select H5 from the list to add these components to it and so that's how you would create a new harness and add components to an existing harness in SolidWorks Electrical 2D now if I were to go back into my harness manager you will notice that H5 and H1.2 both of them have components, cables and line diagram segments associated with them. Now that we're done creating our harnesses let's go into the SolidWorks 3D tool. Over here I have my assembly which consists of the motherboard and the five fans as well as the connectors that I've already added. In addition, I've also created a few 3D sketches which will be used as routes for my harnesses. Now that everything is set up, all that's left for me to do is to click Route Harnesses. You can go ahead and route all the harnesses at the same time or in this case I'm going to go ahead and select H1.2 to route in the interest of time. Under routing parameters, you can go ahead and enter the distance between two routing paths and the distance between a connection point and the first routing path. And once you're satisfied with the inputs, you can go ahead and click the green check mark to start routing your harness H.12. Now this takes about a minute. <coughs> So after a minute, my harness H1.2 is finished routing. Similarly, you can go ahead and route the other three harnesses. And that's pretty much it for today's video. So to recap what we have done today, I've shown you how to create new harness as well as add component to an existing harness in Electrical 2D, and then to route these harnesses in SolidWorks 3D. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys and uh, thanks again for watching the video and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Goodbye.